What is functional medicine? I'm Dr. John Bartimus and I'm going to take you through a primer today on what is functional medicine and why it could be the missing link in your health picture and you figuring out what is causing your health challenges and how to correct them. So if we look at this diagram, this is looking at blood work. All right? Functional medicine looks at a patient as a unique biochemistry and physiology and an individual with, its, with an individualized cause to their problem. So where mainstream medicine looks at you as a diagnosis and a given diagnosis receives a given drug 100% of the time, functional medicine says, well you may have a diagnosis but your diagnosis could be caused by poor gut health or hormonal problems or genetic susceptibility or chronic inflammation or autoimmunity so the treatment for five people with the same diagnosis could be five different treatments because the cause could be five different causes. So functional medicine honors the fact that it's not a cookbook recipe. Healthcare is not a cookbook recipe. What it is is that individualized people, unique people walking in with unique chemistry and physiology that have a unique cause and that unique cause needs to be teased out by testing. And so when looking at blood testing, you've all had blood tests done at your medical doctors and you may have had the experience where you went to your doctor and said, you know, I'm having these symptoms, I feel terrible, I think it's my thyroid, for example, can you help me? And so your medical doctor says, sure, they run a TSH test and your TSH test comes back quote unquote normal and they say, you know, your TSH is normal, you don't have a thyroid problem, it's all in your head, would you like an antidepressant? So basically, because they don't know what they're looking for or how to test, it gets turned back on you saying it's psychological and it's all in your head and you have a brain imbalance. Well, I'm here to tell you today that you do not have a, pro you do not have a brain imbalance or psychological issue causing, uh, making you the victim and, and not a medical issue. What happens is you do have an issue, they just don't know how to find it because of the way they look at labs. So, this black line represents the typical lab range for TSH. So you go to any medical doctor in the United States and the, the lab low range for TSH will be 0.5 and the lab high range for TSH will be 4.5. And so these numbers will vary just a little bit depending on the region of the US that you get tested because the, the values or the ranges are set based on the average um, population of people tested in that lab in the past year. So it varies a little bit across the US. But this is the general rule. So if, if if you're anywhere inside this part, your medical doctor says you're fine. Okay? For your medical doctor to say you have an issue, you have to be somewhere out here or somewhere out here. And these two spots represent diagnosable disease. If you're right here, you're fine. If you're right here, you're fine. If you're right here, you're fine. It's not until you're out here that they will say, oh, there is something wrong with you let's put you on a medication. Okay? So the difference in functional medicine is functional medicine recognizes that first of all these values are set based on the the average population coming in for blood work in the last year to that lab. Well let me ask you a question. Do healthy people go get lab work or do sick people go get lab work? Sick people, right? So these normal healthy ranges are actually based on the sick population. So already these are not healthy ranges. So functional medicine studies healthy people and says the actual healthy ranges should be a tighter window. So now here we have functionally low and functionally high ranges that represent health and we have the same optimal that we want to hit. So in functional medicine, if we test, if we run the same TSH and you got this, the same result that you got with your medical doctor where he said you're fine and you don't have a problem, if we say that, we say no, you are not fine, you are outside the functional or optimal range and you are on your way towards disease. So if we have 
a trend of the last four years you've had blood tests drawn and your TSH has gone up and you felt terrible when every time your medical doctor said you're fine. Well, you're not fine. You have a four year history of trending towards disease. So maybe at year five or six you'll probably finally be out here and he'll do something about it. But guess what? Why should we wait until your diagnosable disease to do something? That's the time where it's hardest to reverse or return quality of life. Why don't we address it over here while it's still not full blown disease yet and make lifestyle changes, nutritional changes, the things that need to happen for you to never get the disease. That's what functional medicine is about. So we're testing you to find out where do you fall on this spectrum and what needs to be done in order to take those symptoms and the, the, the poor quality of life that you know you're experiencing that is not caused by some hallucination in your head but is a legit thing that you are experiencing daily. We're going to test you and find the cause to that and address that cause. So that's what functional medicine is, is using testing to find out your individual biochemical and physiological hiccup and then addressing that so you can return to a life at optimal. To get started on that path, give us a call today, 704-895-2240. Have a great day.